I am convinced now that race baiters, race grifters, not only do they make a handsome living out of doing what they do, but I'm starting to think that they actually get off on it. Of course, I've mentioned in the past uh, the usual villains in this uh, lucrative business. Dr. Shola Moss, Yasmin Ali Bai Brown, Adil Ray, OBE, that's a joke, and Narinda Kaur. Well, now there's Labour MP Belle Ribeiro Adi, and she describes herself on Twitter as a socialist, feminist, anti-racist, trade unionist. Um... <laughs> <laughs> of course, she's got her pronouns on there as well. She, her. And she tweeted this, and it's got to be a, a... No, it's not a joke. It can't be a joke. Though it is in the context. I'm thinking about it, but still. Anyway, this is what she said. Uh, I just called on Rishi Sunak to apologise for Britain's history of slavery and colonialism during PMQs. Now, what exactly does Rishi Sunak have to apologise for, and on behalf of whom? I don't think Rishi Sunak's family owns slaves. Nobody in Britain today owns slaves. So why the hell should we apologise for it? Because Britain ended slavery over 200 years ago in 1807. We abolished it. And not only did Britain abolish slavery, we fought against it as well. It is estimated around 5,000 British Royal Navy sailors died on the high seas fighting uh, slave traders. But that's an inconvenient fact for these uh, race grifters. And they are always targeting Britain and the British Empire and slavery, etc, etc. Now, of course, as we all know, those of us who are educated, Britain wasn't the only empire. There was another empire, a far crueler and totalitarian empire around the same time called the Ottoman Empire. So will you see any of these idiots, including Bel Ribeiro Adi, uh, go and complain to Turkey and ask them to apologise for the Ottoman Empire's history of slavery and colonialism, which is what they did, exactly the same thing. And of course, they even traded in black slaves. But no, again, that's too inconvenient for them because the Ottoman Empire wasn't a white empire. Now, Bel Ribeiro Adi is black, so why doesn't she instead apologise for her ancestors who were Barbary pirates? And Barbary pirates traded in white European slaves, which is another part of history these people don't want you to know about and is too inconvenient. And if this is the sort of shit that her constituents voted her in for, then this says a lot more about them than it does about her. I think we can all agree that slavery is an appalling practice. Nobody deserves to live under bondage. But I also believe that nobody present day should apologise for what their ancestors did to someone else hundreds of years ago. It's ridiculous. And this sort of thing pushes people towards the welcoming arms of the real far right. And they do exist. I am fed up with my demographic and my people being demonised like this constantly by people like that who not only make a living out of it, but get off on it. And I think these people should be brought to account. And there we go. That's my video. That's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.